Hi, and welcome to Baking Butterly Love. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this fun buttercream sunflower cake. I'll show you how to paint your background, how to mix buttercream colors, and how to paint the buttercream using a palette knife. You'll want to start with a cake that has already been frosted and chilled. For my background, I mixed a blue frosting because it'll contrast nicely with the yellow of the sunflowers. I'll list all the exact colors I use in the description below. I'm using a small offset spatula to gently scrape patches of blue all around the cake. It's really important to make sure your cake is chilled before the step so that you don't mess up the base layer of frosting. After I'm happy with the blue patches, I'll scrape around the cake once with my cake scraper just to even things out a bit. Now it's time to mix the colors for my sunflowers. I'm starting off with plain white frosting and just mixing it with a spatula to make sure it's completely smooth. I like to use the back of a sheet tray to mix my colors, but you could use any flat surface. I'm mixing my yellow first since I'll need a large amount of this color. Just use the palette knife to scrape the frosting back and forth until the color is evenly mixed. Next, I'm going to take some of the yellow and use it to mix my orange and red. This will give me a variety of shades to use for my petals. I use just a tiny drop of red to make the orange, and then a bit more red to make the deeper red color. I'll also need some green for the leaves and brown for the center of my flowers. I also just wanted to note here that I'm really not using a lot of frosting for these colors. Uh, you don't need very much frosting for this technique, so it's good if you're a bit short on buttercream. So now I want to show you how I like to pick up the frosting with this type of palette knife. This isn't the only way to do it, it's just a way that I've worked out and I found it works for me. So I start by creating a patch of buttercream that is really nice and even. Then I angle the palette knife so that the edge is against my sheet tray and I scrape it until the frosting builds up into an even little mound. Then to make a petal, push this buttercream down as you pull away from the point of the palette knife. If you move it to one side as you pull away, you can see it makes the petal a bit wider. Again, this isn't the only way to do it. I just like the way my petals turn out when I use this technique. You can also always go back and adjust things as needed. You don't have to get it perfect on the first try. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to do leaves. I'm going to clean my palette knife off here with a paper towel. It's nice to keep that handy when you're switching between colors. The leaves are really similar to flowers, except I'm gonna scrape two portions of buttercream, one to the left and one to the right, and that'll give me a wider shape for a leaf. One more technique I want to show you is how to make a gradient of colors. So here I'm making a large yellow patch then I'm adding a bit of orange and an even tinier bit of red at the end. Now when I scrape perpendicular to this gradient, I'll get a mix of colors in my petals. So now let's put all those techniques together to make our sunflower. I'll start off with two strokes for my leaf. Then I'll head around in a circle and make all my petals. And finally, I'll use the very tip of the palette knife to apply brown frosting and make the center of the sunflower. All right, so now we're ready to paint flowers on our cake. It's a little more difficult painting flowers on the side of a cake, so just keep in mind you might have to hold the palette knife at different angles. And don't forget, you can always go back and add more buttercream or fix things that didn't turn out exactly how you wanted. So what do you think about this painting technique? Do you think it looks easy or hard? I think that this is a pretty easy technique for anybody to use, but I'd love to hear what you think, so leave a comment and let me know. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel. I post new cake decorating videos every week. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next week.